<laughs> Welcome to my channel! Of course, when we're talking about Halloween crochet patterns, we have to talk about zombies. Let's take a look. This is the back of a bear zombie. You can see some of the um, flesh has fallen off and just leaves the bones. This is the front, bulging eyes, lots of scars and uh, exposed brain. Quite fierce looking bear zombie there. Here's a cute little zombie lobby for those uh, babies who just cannot wait to celebrate their first Halloween. <laughs> this is a, this one is more in the traditional zombie colors, but both have exposed brains and uh, are cute enough to cuddle. Now this is an awesome pattern. Look at all the details. Let's see if we have a better photo. Yeah, this is uh, the side of it. Look at all the little plucks of hair there and the torn trousers. This is the front. I love the little tie. And it just has so many fun details. It even has fingernails. I mean, what amigurumi has fingernails? This one does. It is uh, stunning in its detail and it's quite fierce looking. Can you imagine if you make this one in a giant size, how cool that would be? There's the bear again. And this is the zombie from Minecraft, I think. <laughs> I'm not a big Minecraft player, but I think this is probably the, the from, from there. Of course, with the block head and all that. You have several photos of it. I love the color integration there in the in the pattern itself. It's, very, it's a very nice crisp looking crisp looking pattern. Gorgeous. This one is fun. It's a Santa zombie. Again, an incredibly detailed and very elaborate crochet pattern. And uh, this time, some Santa got zombified. I love the little beard. <laughs> it's adorable. Oh, and the hat comes off. So <laughs> look at those ears. <laughs> Fantastic. It has. I love the shape of the head. It has so many interesting features. Um. It's not, look, it's, it's, it's adorable. And then a little zombie bear. This one uh, less uh, gruesome, I suppose, but he's quite fierce looking with all the scars and, uh, and all the patch ups, patchy up, patchy uppies, patch. <laughs> I can't pronounce that. He's quite large if you see the hand in, uh, in perspective. And he's, uh, he's, uh, He's fun too. Here's a little uh, hippie, not hippie, uh, hipster. That's the word. Hipster zombie. Adore. I love this this slouchy uh, hat. This is this part. I think this part is knitted, but it's uh, it's quite the look for this uh, this zombie. He's adorable. <laughs> a little peace sign on his shirt. Zombie hat again with the dangly f <laughs> with the dangly uh, eye and the exposed brain. <laughs> this doesn't even make quite a snazzy uh, impression on the Halloween there. This is a, a a big, I don't know, sort of snowman zombie witch. I don't know what it is, but it has all sorts of fun um, details and a uh, cool color scheme. And uh, it is quite adorable. And it will be your friend this Halloween. <laughs> we could need a friend. This is a little bride. This is her brain that you're looking at. How cool is, how cool is this? I mean... I don't, I'm not sure how this is uh, achieved, but it's a cool, um, has all the folds of a actual brain. And of course, her little friend, the spider. Let's see her from the side. <laughs> a little veil. And from the back. Oh, and here's Mr. Groom with uh, an exposed belly and all sorts of organs in there uh, from the side. And here they are together. Finally, we see her from the front. So I have a little bride zombie and a little groom zombie. The bride has her brain exposed and the groom has his internal organs exposed. And they're both very adorable. <laughs> Look at this, so cute. Such an elaborate pattern. I love the haircut. And that's it for the zombies. Tell me your favorite, and I wish you happy Halloween crocheting!